Steve, are, are you talking about telling your clients to, to position themselves for a mistake here? Um, hi, Sarah. I, you know, we can't avoid talking about this. I, I, it's, it's the topic number one um, in pretty much every discussion I have. And the question is, you know, how defensive should we get? The, the, you know, the chart that Bob showed is, is what's in a lot of more veteran traders' minds or veteran investors' minds. Um, and I think a lot of newer investors are just not really cognizant of it. You know, the other issue we have is we've seen this movie before. It can get very suspenseful. And as it did in 2021, it, it really was quite a suspenseful movie. But it always ends with a happy ending or, you know, happy-ish by Washington standards. And so I think people are, are a little reluctant to, uh, to get out in front of this issue with the understanding that it usually gets fixed. We'll see what happens this time. The complicating factor here, Steve, is the, the backdrop we are in, digesting more than 500 basis points of tightening in a very short time period, historically aggressive tightening, still too high inflation that remains sticky in some parts of the economy, an economy that's slowing, where confidence is getting lost. Small business survey today shows another drop in confidence. I mean, add it all up. As stimulus is fading, it's a tough backdrop. So what do you do? Well, Sarah, this is why um, a lot of what, what investors are doing is moving toward consumer, um, you know, defensive consumer oriented stocks. We learned from earnings season that among the few companies who can pass along price increases are the the Hershey's, the McDonald's, the Kimberly Clark's, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so I think people have been moving into that regard. And also it kind of removes you a little bit from the political intrigue that we're seeing. Um, one of the other things that that I find mystifying is VIX stuck here with a 17 handle. We actually got down to a 15 handle um, at the beginning of last week and then quickly rose to a 21 on, on, on Thursday. So I think that's an interesting idea for investors is volatility right now is not expensive and volatility could get expensive very quickly, sometimes more quickly than you can than you can purchase it. Um, and so that's one of the things that I think investors should be considering right now if they are concerned about these the, the debt talks. But by the VIX, because you think that it's everyone's too complacent. VIX or VIX equivalent, yeah. All right. Scott, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Steve, excuse me, Steve Sosnick. <laughs>